Welcome back. With Thanksgiving a week away, anxiety might be creeping in for some of you. And joining us live today with some tips on how to deal with this anxiety is neuropsychologist Dr. Sanam Hafiz. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me on. So this time of year can be a lot of joy and excitement for some people, but for others, it can be very triggering. Talk about some of those family triggers and how we can deal with it. Well, I think a lot of times people forget that holidays, as festive as they feel, can actually be quite anxiety provoking for people. They can be depressing. They can bring up a lot of feelings, including not wanting to see your family. You know, we have this culture of like we must see our family. Some people don't want to see their family. Some people are dealing with their own stuff. And the last thing they want to do is either burden their loved ones with uh, whatever's been going on. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you just had a, a breakup. Maybe you've got some health issues. Maybe you've lost your job. So the last thing you want is a relative in your face saying, uh, hey, how are things? Tell me about, you know, are you seeing someone? How's your husband? How's your wife? So I think um, holidays can be quite stressful that way, whether you're hosting or you have to go see someone. And if you are going to see someone, uh, you know, sometimes the meal itself can be stressful. Maybe you're trying to watch what you eat or and somebody might get offended if you don't get a second helping of a dessert or something. How can we handle situations like that? Well, I think people should just need to be mindful that I don't think there is a single person listening to your show right now who feels 100 percent confident or completely secure in their body, right? So people have issues with either weight, they've been trying to lose weight, they've been trying to keep it off, they've been worried about what to wear for the holidays, that someone's gonna make a comment about their weight or what they're eating or not eating, including people who maybe are trying to stay away from alcohol. So it is so much stuff. So the simplest, I think, I think the easiest way to tackle this is by addressing these things before they happen. So maybe text the host, or if you're the host, text or, or reach out to your family and friends and say, do you have any dietary preferences? Would you like me to make something? And, and someone might say, yeah, you know, a salad would be great. Uh, or, you know, I've kind of given up meat or I'm eating meat again, whatever it is. So I think it's helpful to communicate and let people know this keeps you from feeling disappointed the day off. It keeps you from feeling stressful, uh, stressed out, or um, sort of as if you are not meeting expectations if you're the host. And I think it just makes for easier, you know, get togethers all around. And we just fit, wrapped up midterm elections. I know there are still some runoffs pending, but are there any topics, maybe politics or anything else that you would, maybe those conversations you would avoid at a Thanksgiving meal? Yeah, you know, I just had a podcast yesterday and I was saying since the pandemic, there's this undertone of sociopolitical, you know, under themes and get togethers. And it, it's so it's kind of sad, but there are families that don't talk to each other because of political differences. And I think if you're going to be the host, maybe you have to have some ground rules about saying, guys, can we, you know, uncle so and so is going to be there or so and so is coming to dinner. Maybe we we'll want to stay away from hot topics or maybe have private conversations and set up at the dinner table. And I think it's perfectly polite and respectful to ask your guests to honor that. Right. You don't want anyone to feel left out. You don't want to offend anyone. And so if you set the tone and the rules, I think it kind of keeps everything just going somewhat smoothly and naturally. And and honestly, the idea is for everyone to have a good time. You know, this is this isn't your show. <laughs> so keep your keep your opinions to yourself and be warm. And, you know, the, the best advice I can give to anyone listening out there that empathy and gratitude goes a long way. You don't know what people are going through. And if you can be grateful for how much you have or how good you have it, it's so easy to just forgive and overlook some slights. I think you said it best there. Empathy and gratitude, the big biggest two factors to remember. All right, Dr. Hafiz, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to everyone. Thank you. You too.